Everyone was watching as a superstar performer at the center of a big controversy finally broke her silence. We're talking about Beyonce and the Star Spangled Banner. And for anyone who doubted she could sing it, she sang it all alone. Here's ABC's Paula Ferris. She walked to the front of the stage and faced the music with music. Oh, say, can you see? Beyonce belting out the national anthem a cappella at her Super Bowl press conference today. No pre-recorded tracks. What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. She now admits she did sing over pre-recorded tracks at the presidential inauguration, sparking controversy. Beyonce gate, the crisis in Libya. <laughs> For 10 days, she's been silent. Today, she came clean. Thank you guys. Any questions? <laughs> Here. Immediately um, setting the record so straight. Due to the weather, due to the delay, due to no, no proper sound check, I did not feel comfortable taking a risk. I decided to sing along with my pre-recorded track. In fact, Beyonce says it was always the plan to sing with a pre-recorded track. The inauguration was unfortunately a time where I, I could not rehearse with the orchestra, actually because I was practicing for the Super Bowl, so it was always the plan. No response from the White House, but Democratic strategist Donna Brazile tweeting, Beyonce has come clean and told the truth. God bless America. Hip-hop icon Russell Simmons simply tweets, Beyonce killed it. She's been preparing for the Super Bowl for five months, and today she made this promise. I will absolutely be singing live. I am well rehearsed, <laughs> and I will absolutely be singing live. This is what I was born to do. Now, Diane, the Super Bowl, typically the most watched television event of the year. A hundred million uh, people expected to tune in. That's four times more than watch the inauguration. So you're talking about a big stage for Beyonce. That was a nervy performance <laughs> was. today when and she sang it. that, when she sang, it was something else.